So let me set the stage here. After listening to numerous users complain about the pitfalls of setting surface reflectance by material, such as materials are never consistent in the various architects models, or graphics color can be anything, or it takes too much time, etc. And noticing that some people never even bother with the material mapping process and just assume a Loom Tools uses Revit MEP settings for estimating. It does not. And then they produce calculations that are simply wrong because the ceiling does not have a reflectance of 98%, which would be a white graphics color for the material. So we sat down to figure out a way to try and ease your pain. And we did. What I am about to show you is slick and should save you tons of time. Drum roll. You can now map reflectances by Revit category. Think ceiling, walls, and floor and override some or all of the material settings. For those of you who have been doing it the right way all along, never fear, you can continue, but we guess you'll want to use this new capability as well. The fact is, you can now have the best of both worlds. The perfect proverbial cake and eat it too sort of deal. Let's look. Running Revit 2014.6 or 2015, click on the material mapping button. Notice in the upper left corner there are now two radio buttons. With View Project Materials selected, you see the old way of setting reflectances by Revit Material. But click on the View Category Overrides selection. This is a listing of all Revit categories in the model. Here you can override the material settings for all materials in that category by simply selecting the category and assigning a reflectance, a color, or even a surface type. And the real beauty of this is, we've seeded the top portion of this dialog with some common categories. So let's say we want all of our ceilings to be 80% reflectance. We'd simply click the checkbox and change the reflectance to 80%. We can then select the floors and the walls as well and set their default reflectances. It's that dang easy. Let's watch it work. Remove the checks, and let's return to the old way of doing things, materials. Let's calculate Media Review 319. This room has a red wall, some brown carpet, and a wood conference table, all with reflectances set by material. This is wonderful. If, and it's often a big if, you can assume these settings are as built. Let's play. Return to material mapping. Go to the category override section. Let's make the walls generic 50%. There we go. The floors 20%. And the ceilings 80%. Let's go back and compute it again. Notice the table and chairs have retained their material properties, reflectances as set by material. But the ceiling, walls, and floor are now our generic gray, 80, 50, 20. Here you have the best of both worlds, generified surfaces and realistic furniture. The furniture is still set by material, as it's not included in the ceiling, walls, or floor overrides. Let's go back to material mapping. Let's see a couple of other nice capabilities. We know that using a Loom Tools 2014, we can control what is included in the calculations by the system setting Filter by View Visibility. Let's take a look. Filter by View Visibility. Default setting is false. OK, but that's not the subject of this video. But that's one way you can control what you actually see in your calculations. But here's a shortcut that can be useful. We can find furniture categories by filtering, F-U-R-N. We've got Furniture, Furniture Systems. We can just click in the checkbox for Furniture and set the surface type as Ignore. Do the same thing for Furniture Systems. This way we've taken all the furniture out of the calculations. Let's verify. Yep, sure enough. Okay. Back to material mapping. 
Notice we have the ability to override glass categories as well to prevent you from having to set all of the various glass material transmittances. This is really slick. You've got a Loom Tools Daylight Transition Glass and Interior Glass. If daylighting is not enabled, all glass is treated as interior glass and you can set a color and transparency. When daylighting is enabled, the daylight transition glass will override the interior setting. With this setting, then you can set all of your daylight glass transparencies at one time. All right, one last little trick. Imagine we want everything to be 50% reflectance. Just shift click the entire list. Select a checkbox. Now you've got everything set at 50% reflectance, or whatever you might want it to be. That is pretty handy. Have we solved a few problems? We certainly hope so.